Welcome to this video where we will explain how to use Cloudberry Backup for Bare Metal Restore. Let's go to Cloudberry Backup. Over here we have a new button called Backup Bare Metal System State. Let's choose the destination of our backup. For example, it can be Amazon S3 account. We have to provide our access and secret keys and see the number of buckets I currently have. We have to select a backup plan name and select a backup type. What are the differences between two of them? Well, system state option allows you to backup operating system boot file, system registry, common database, active directory, system volume and other OS components. Bare metal option allows you the same like system state plus backup and restore of applications, applications data and users data. Now let's return back and select bare metal option. Choose intermediate storage for our backup. Choose compression and encryption options and you can see that we have lots of algorithms supported. Flexible scheduling options, pre-post actions and notification options. And here it is, our backup plan is successfully created. When it comes to restore, just click restore files and choose an option which suits you better, run restore once or save restore plan. And choose a point in time you want to restore. And provide the destination for restored files. In my case, it should be volume E. If you use backup encryption, you have to provide your encryption password. And here it is, our restore plan was created successfully. Now, let's simulate a situation when your computer is corrupted. What happens next? Your machine will ask you whether you want to install a new fresh copy of Windows or use repair function. Let's restore this computer using a system image that we created using Cloudberry Backup. And after a few clicks, the process is started. After the restoration process, the system will ask you to restart your machine. And after the restart, we will find it just like it was at the point of time when the backup was created. Thanks for watching. You can get your trial version at cloudberrylab.com.